Hi everyone. In the first part of the simultaneous equation, I've taught you all to use the elimination method. And this part two series of this simultaneous equation video or exercise, we are going to use this substitution method. So let's say we have three examples here. Question one, 6x plus 2y equals to negative 72. The other equation will be minus 2x plus y equals to 14. So what you need to do now is using substitution method, you need to express one of the variable, either x or y, to be x equal to or y equal to. And in this equation here, you can see that y actually doesn't have any variable at the front or coefficient at the front. So that's why from equation two here, you can write y equal to 14 plus 2x. The y 14 plus 2x, reason being that you are moving this negative 2x towards on your right side. Okay, so therefore this will become equation number three. Next, we can substitute y equals to 14 plus 2x into which equation? In this case, it will be equation one. Okay, reason being that from equation two becomes equation three, essentially equation two and three, they are the same. So therefore, we need to substitute y equal to 14 plus 2x into the other equation, which is equation 1. So here you have x, 6x plus 2 multiplied with 14 plus 2x equals to negative 72. So we are substituting the y value here. with this whole thing of the y that we got from here, okay? So the next step is that we expand this bracket to 28 plus 4x equals to negative 72. So essentially the next step will be basically the same thing that we have learned using the simultaneous equation using elimination method, okay? So we need to move this to the to the other side. Okay. So negative 72 minus 28. You are getting negative 100. And this 10 here, you move to the other side, it becomes divided by 10. So x will be negative 10. Okay, the next step will be substituting x equals to negative 10 into which equation in this case. In fact, you can substitute it in any of the equation 1, 2, and 3, but it will be more convenient for us to find the value of y if we were to substitute into equation 3 here. y equals to 14 plus 2 times negative 10, uh, 14 minus 20, so the answer will be negative 6. Okay. So therefore, the answer will be x equals to negative 10 and y equals to negative 6. We move on to second question, 2x plus 6y equals to negative 28, and this is your equation 1. Equation 2 will be minus 3x plus y equals to negative 18. So here you can use this uh, y here. Okay, from equation 2, you get y equals to 3x minus 18. Therefore, the next line will be substitute 
y equals to 3x minus 18 into 1. So 2x plus 6y, which is 3x minus 18, equals negative 28. When you expand the equation, it becomes 2x plus 18x minus 108 equals negative 28. Okay, so for 2x and 18x, you can combine them to become 20x. Equals negative 28 plus 108. So 20x equals to 80 here. Therefore, your answer will be x equals to 4. Okay. So the next step will be pretty much similar. Substitute x equals to 4 into any of the equation. Let's say if you substitute to equation 1 okay, to get the final answer of the y, also can. Right, so I'll leave that to you to do the, the rest. And for question three here, 6x plus 3y equals to 18. Equation one. Equation two. So here, as usual, you can see that this y actually doesn't have any coefficient at the front. So from two, you get y equals to 2x minus 18. And therefore, you can substitute y equals to 2x minus 18 into equation 1 here. Therefore, the next step will be 6x plus 3, 2x minus 18 equals 18. 6x plus 6x minus 18. Sorry, this should be 54. Since 3 multiplied by 18, and you get 18 here. So 6x plus 6x, you get 12x equals 18 plus 54. These two, you have to add them together. You get 72. Your final answer will be x equals to 6. Okay, the next step will be pretty much similar. Substitute x equal to 6 into which equation in this case? If you can uh, substitute into equation 2, let's say. Negative 2 times 6 plus y equals negative 18. And when you do the rest, you'll be able to find the final answer of the y. All right, I'll leave that to you to do the rest also. Thank you for watching.